groups, different anonymization techniques are needed. And that's why things like delta presence become very necessary, is because you, you can't just say, oh, this is you know, one size fits all. Because in any, you know, in any room, there may be some individuals who stand out, but in some other group, they may, they may not. And yeah, that's, that's one we deal with particularly every day. Although it's interesting because removing that information of gender may be, you know, really lowers the utility of the data. Because one of the things we'd like to figure out is why do we have such a male-dominated uh, under, undergraduate population? We'd like to understand, are we doing something that is, you know, are there things that we do in our classes that are uh, somehow gender biased? We'd like to be able to figure out what those are. If we don't have the gender in, the, in those evaluations, it's harder to figure that out. But on the other hand, if we put it in, we violate privacy. So it's very interesting that these, you know, this trade-off between privacy and utility becomes very challenging. Any other? Yes. Uh, you, you mentioned that postal code, gender, and date of birth give you an 80% or 87% chance of uniquely identifying someone. Yeah. Um, what, when you said date of birth, do you just mean year of birth? No, that's actually the full date. Full the date, full so birth month, date. day, and year. Yeah, right. that's really what's doing it there is, okay. the, is the birth date. Yeah. Uh, you know, and postal code. And you'll actually, if you look at the HIPAA safe harbor rules, they will allow you to have year and the first three digits of the postal code. Okay. But nothing finer grained than that. Thank you. So. Okay. Anyway, I will see you all next week. And uh, thank you for coming. I hope you've enjoyed this. And I look forward to seeing those of you who are taking this as a course. I look forward to seeing you the rest of the semester. Those of you who are just here for the seminar, uh, I sure, hope, hope we'll have many others that interest you and bring you back. Thank you.